Growing up, I was a very quiet child. No one had to ask me anything or check on me because I didn't cause much trouble. However, beneath my calm composure, I carried an overwhelming amount of anxiety and fear about life. I was trapped in my thoughts and emotions and no one seemed to notice my silent struggle. I became good at wearing a mask of happiness, fooling everyone into thinking that everything was okay, but deep down I was drowning in depression. Church for me was merely an optional ritual growing up. It held no real significance in my life. When I got into university and gained even more freedom, the obligation and the need to go to church became non-existent. However, God in his mercy sent a friend into my life who invited me to the First Love Church. I remember feeling confused during the first service I attended. Numerous questions flooded my mind and I contemplated not returning, but then the lockdown happened. As the pandemic struck, my friend began sending me links to the flow prayer meetings and church services. Almost unintentionally, I found myself joining in. Before I knew it, I was praying for hours on end, 8 to 10 hours at a time. It was a shock to me and even to my mother. A little while later, I tragically lost my dad to cancer. It was an incredibly devastating time for me. However, I recall the teachings of the Prophet encouraging us to reconcile with our fathers and I'm grateful I got the opportunity to reconcile with mine before he died. I now have many spiritual fathers, friends and church family. I no longer have to face anxiety, pain, depression and overwhelming thoughts on my own. I can open up freely, speak my mind, and express myself in the comforting presence of these newfound relationships. Looking back, the Lucia I used to be was a quiet, fearful soul, plagued by anxiety, sadness, and depression. However, I can now say the Lucia I am now is happier, more open, and filled with joy. My life has indeed become a path that grows brighter and brighter, just as the scriptures promised. I am grateful to God for his mercy and unfailing love. He saw me through and orchestrated everything. It was not in vain. It was all part of his plan to draw me closer to him and to rescue me from a life that would have been filled with sadness and depression. Hi, my name is Lucia and this is my testimony.